Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for watching. My name is Hannah and today we'll be sharing you our take on a super summery natural makeup look. So if you want to know how we achieved this look right here, then just keep on watching. Before we apply our foundation, we're going to apply a liquid illuminator. This is going to make our skin look super glowy and it's going to peek through the foundation later on, making it look super dewy. I'm going to use our DO4 to buff that into the skin. Next, choose your favourite glowy foundation, preferably something that is a natural to medium coverage because we want the skin to look really fresh and natural. To apply that, I'm going to use our BO5 brush to ensure the application is super precise and a little bit more natural. Because it is super small, it just ensures that you don't apply too much coverage and you can focus it on um, certain areas where you want a little bit more coverage and then keep everywhere else a little bit more natural looking. Next, using that same BO5 brush, we're going to apply some concealer now on the areas where the foundation hasn't quite covered and we want a little bit more coverage. That is typically underneath the eyes and any blemishes that you might want to cover. If you ever want to keep the coverage a little bit more full, you can bounce the brush up and down on the skin and that will keep the coverage exactly where you put it whereas when you swipe the product across the skin like this you typically shear the coverage out. So because we want the skin to look really fresh and natural we don't want to apply too much powder because that's when it can start to look flat and powder you can obviously see on the skin a little bit more. So we're going to choose a really tiny brush to apply our powder. This is the A29 brush, so it is super flat and perfect for packing on powder, but keeping it really specific and precise. So we're going to use a translucent powder because we don't want to add any more coverage or colour to the skin. We just want to set specific areas that might get a little bit oily throughout the day. And you can apply this wherever you tend to get a little bit shiny, so that is typically the T-zone. And underneath the eyes to avoid any creasing. So another trick on keeping the skin looking really fresh and natural is using a cream bronzer. Because this is quite a summery look, we want to add a little bit more of a bronze sun kiss feel to the skin. So we're going to use a concealer, but this is actually a darker tone. So I have just gone a few shades darker than my natural skin tone in a concealer. So this has more of a bronzy undertone. So it's perfect for adding a little bit more warmth to the skin. And always work section by section because you don't want the um, bronzer to set. So always dab it on your section. And then using that same DO5 brush, we're going to buff that into the skin. Then working section by section, we want to apply it to the cheek first. Basically want to apply it anywhere where the sun would naturally hit your face. So we always get a little bit more um, colour on the top of our forehead. You want to... Blend that in circular motions. And then also on the nose, we always get a little bit of sun on our noses as well. So we're going to add to the glow even more by using a cream highlighter on top of the cheekbones and also a little bit on the forehead to make the skin look even more dewy. The cream highlighter does tend to look that little bit more natural on the skin and more skin light. And we're going to use that same DO5 brush to blend that into the skin. So you want to apply highlighter anywhere where the light naturally hits the skin or any of the highest points of your face. So the skin is looking super nice and glowy and fresh and we just want to add a little bit more colour to the cheeks. So I'm actually going to use an eyeshadow. This is from our Oceana palette. So it's got a really nice peachy undertone but it is a matte finish so it works perfectly as a blusher. And I'm going to use a B08 to apply that to ensure the application is super precise. So because this is typically um, an eyeshadow, it does tend to be a little bit more pigmented than your normal blush. So just apply a super small amount to start off with because you can always build it up as you go on. And if you do have your cream highlighter on and you're not wearing much powder, you can tap the product in first so you don't disturb any of the product underneath. So because this colour is super peachy in tone, it works really well just kind of on the bridge of the nose and that also enhances that kind of sun-kissed look because, you know, when you've been out in the sun and you get that kind of flushed nose from where you've caught the sun a little bit and that kind of enhances that if you want that kind of look or you can just keep it um, on the cheeks if you prefer. 
So to keep the overall look super natural, we're gonna keep the eyebrows a little bit more natural as well because we want them to look really nice and soft. So I'm gonna opt for a brow pencil just because that way you can kind of create brow like strokes and you can just achieve more of a natural look with a pencil. Brows are super, super personal, so you can go ahead and do whatever you prefer. So if you do want to create brow-like strokes, you can start at the base of the brow and flick your pencil upwards. So start at the base and flick. And you always want to flick in the direction that your brows grow in. So we're gonna keep the look really easy to achieve. So we're gonna use just two colors and we're gonna dip into the shade Shaw to start off with. This was the color that we used on our cheeks. So it's gonna tie both the eyes and skin together. So firstly, we're just gonna work that shade Shaw into the natural crease of our eye. So to apply that, we're gonna use a B07 brush. This is a tapered blending brush. So it is perfect to apply your first eyeshadow because the tapered end applies the product and fits really nicely in the crease. And then the edges are a little bit shorter. So that helps to just diffuse and blend the edges. We're gonna pop that in the natural crease of our eye and you do not have to be neat. We just wanna whack it through the natural crease of our eye. We're also going to apply that same colour underneath the eye. Just using the same brush, you can get a super diffused look. And because it has the tapered end, it helps to get right underneath the eye. So to define the lashes a little bit more, I'm going to use an A28 brush. This is a flat shader brush, which is great for the lid and also applying eyeshadow underneath the eye. So just press that right underneath your natural lower lash line. Next, we're gonna dip into the shade Horizon and this is gonna go all over our lid and I'm gonna use that on the same A28 brush. And we wanna use a flat brush to ensure we get maximum color payoff. So to enhance the eye look even more and to add a little bit more of a glow to the eyes, we're gonna use our Ocean Drops in the shade Reef. So this has a gorgeous rose tone undertone. So basically, um, it is a liquid eyeshadow topper and I'm gonna drop a little bit on the back of my hand. Make sure you really shake the bottle before you use it. I'm gonna swirl it and mix it on the back of my hand and using my finger, I'm gonna press it on top of my eyeshadow. And you want to press and tap because you don't wanna disturb the eyeshadow underneath. And what that does, it just enhances your eyeshadow and makes it look super glowy and almost like a wet, um, a creamy eyeshadow and also because it has that really gorgeous rose undertone you can kind of see it as the light hits the eyes. So I'm going to finish off the eyes with our dark matte mascara. This is super defining and lengthening. It is super black so it doesn't give you like a grey cast on your lashes. For lips we can keep it really simple and natural using a lip liner and a gloss. So I'm just going to keep it um, like so and just put a clear gloss on top. That way when it wears off it isn't noticeable and also it looks super natural as well. So that is our take on a super summery natural makeup look. Of course you could tone down the eyeshadow if you didn't want to make it um, too vibrant. You could of course use the more natural shade called Tide and you could leave off the lid colour and make it really simple if you wanted to. We will list all products used in the description box below if you are interested with all the links to the brushes that we used in this video. Video as well so we really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe for our next video and give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment down below letting us know what you thought thank you so much for watching and you'll see us in our next one bye